Welcome back, physics fans. We're going to do 37 and 38 here on the worksheet. Uh, 37. A 1,200-kilogram car is lifted straight up at a speed of 0.8 meters per second by a crane. What is the tension in the ca crane's cable? Okay. So go ahead and try it. Get a head start. Three, two, one. Let's begin. Here we go. So we'll draw a free body diagram. So we have the tension and the force of gravity. And it's moving up. But its acceleration is zero. It doesn't say that it's changing its speed. So algebraically, if we wanted to do the Newton's law here, okay, we have to go the sum of the forces is equal to F net equals MA. You might think tension's winning minus the force of gravity is equal to MA because that's the direction of motion. But this acceleration is zero. So that means tension minus force of gravity has to equal zero. That means the tension has to equal the force of gravity. The up has to equal the down. And in that case, the force of gravity is just mg, which is 1,200 kilograms times 9.8. So that gives us that the tension is equal to 11,760 newtons. Okay, part two of this question, it's now lowering it at a constant speed. What's the tension? The same. What happens if it's sitting still? What's the tension? The same. The tension in that cable is the same as long as it's not accelerating. Whether it's going up or down, it's the same. Okay, now we're going to uh, move ahead and uh, go into a little bit of a different zone here where we're going to start talking about a stretching of a spring. So we'll have to know what's called Hooke's Law. Okay. So try number 38 out ahead of me. Here it is. A cable is stretched 4.5 centimeters by lifting a 10 kilogram sky hook upward at a rate of 3 meters per second squared. What is the spring constant of the cable? The tension in the elastic is the elastic force that's stretching the cable. Okay. So there is a tension up and a force of gravity down. And it is accelerating up. So we definitely know that the tension is winning. So we will start way over here. The sum of the forces is equal to F net, which equals MA. And that tension minus the force of gravity is equal to MA. And the force of gravity here is mg, and it is a 10 kilogram times 9.8, so this is 98 newtons. So I'll just do a little bit of a side calculation here. So this is tension minus 98 newtons is equal to 10 times 3, because the acceleration is 3. So this tension is going to be 98 plus 30, which is 128 newtons. Now, what stretches a spring is a force. Okay, and if we have a spring, and if we pull that force and stretch it, that is called an elastic force. And that elastic force, by Hooke's law, is K times X. This is Hooke's law.
a very easy force that if you stretched it, this is the how much it stretches, and that's how springy the spring is, how difficult it is. So if you stretched it from its relaxed position, 4.5 centimeters, that's what you put in there. And that's the force, and this is going to be a constant for that spring. So we're told that the tension force is what's stretching that spring. So the elastic force is 128 newtons. We're supposed to calculate what K is, which is the spring constant. Okay, let's just write that down. The K is the spring constant. And it's usually measured in newtons per meter. How many newtons it takes to stretch it a meter. And now I will... The distance stretched is 0 0.045 meters. That's the centimeters. So K is a Hooke's Law, and that's going to equal 2,844 newtons per meter. And it just basically says how much force it takes to stretch that particular string. Okay, thank you very much. If you want to do a little research on Hooke's Law, just Google that up. It's a very easy, that if you pulled it twice as hard, it stretches twice as much. And it's a very linear relationship. What do I mean by linear? You know, y equals mx. Not even with plus b. y equals mx. That's the same thing. The force is equal to kx. That's the slope. That's the slope. It's a constant. Excellent. Thank you so much for watching. Smash that like button. Ask more questions down below.